Hey guys and welcome to the school station. Today's video is going to be about separating mixtures. This is from the AQA GCC Chemistry 91 paper from the unit Atomic Structure. Today's video is going to be about separating mixtures and how what is a mixture itself and the four main techniques of actually separating mixtures and near the end of the video we're also going to be talking about an experiment that you can do at home or in school. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just get right into the video. So first of all, we're going to be talking about what is a mixture. A mixture is made up of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded together. So in our, one of our chemistry videos, we talked about atoms, elements and compounds. But a mixture is actually made up of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded together, which means you can separate them. This is why there are actually four main ways of actually separating mixtures, because they're not chemically bonded together, so therefore they can be separated. The four main ways of actually separating mixtures is these ones over here. Number one is filtration. Filtration are used to separate substances that are insoluble in a particular solvent from those that are soluble in the solvent. A very way, good way of actually remembering filtration is, for example, if you have sand and water. Because when you have sand and water, we obviously know that water are actually in uh, sorry sand is actually insoluble and it doesn't get dissolved into the water. So when you actually filter the sand and sand uh, sand water, it will actually end up having sand um, stuck in the filter paper and the water would have been completely clean. So filtration is actually a really good way of actually the separate substances that are insoluble in a particular solvent from those that are soluble in a solvent. So again, if you do have sand water and you also have salt in that water, we also can actually talk about that. Number two is actually crystallization. And crystallization is actually used to obtain salt from a salt solution. So crystallization is actually more about obtaining salt because if you have a salt solution again you actually would use crystallization and even though this is more of a uh, method of evaporation we we actually have a more formal way of saying it which is crystallization number three is distillation and distillation is where a solution is heated and boiled to evaporate the solvent so if you actually have um a mixture that has um, substances with different boiling points you can actually take that as an advantage and use distillation so there are actually two ways of distillation there is simple distillation and fractional distillation but both of them actually uses the advantage that the the substances have different boiling points so therefore they just use the different boiling points to actually evaporate and condense the substances until they both get separated and the last uh, way of separating mixtures is chromatography, which is a technique that is used to separate and identify substances from mixtures in solution. And this is actually also called, this is called paper chromatography or chromatography. So, you know, it's just all about separating mixtures. And this is more of an in-depth um, way of separating mixtures, while these three are a bit more simple. But chromatography is just a bit more detailed. So now that we've actually clarified the four main ways of separating mixtures, do not worry, we'll be looking at them more further on. I'm actually going to tell you guys about these separation techniques and which one to use at which times. So these separation techniques all rely on differences in the physical properties of the substances in the mixture, mixture such as different solubilities in a solvent or different boiling points. So for example, it, we actually have to just think about the situation at that time. Let's say if we want to actually... Um, want to separate salt and salt water right so we want to have um, salt and water separated we would use crystallization but we would not be able to separate salt water with let's say distillation so you basically have to use um, different situations and you have to think about which situation will work out the best so if you have again um, uh, let's say sand and sand and salt water we would have to use filtration and crystallization and there's actually an experiment that we're going to be showing you guys later on in this video and for example if you have let's say uh, ethanol and water mixed together we would use distillation so it really is about the differences in the physical properties of the substances in the mixture so we have to rethink about the situation and which separation technique to use at which time so now we actually come up to the fun bit which is actually something you can do at school or home with uh, guidance from an adult or you know a teacher so obviously don't try not to do this at home by yourself because it does contain fire so do get guidance from your adults and teachers um, 
So this is actually a filtration and crystallization experiment. So to actually remember filtra filtration and crystallization. So first of all, we actually start off with a, um, let's say, a sand, salt, and water mixture. So it's basically salt and sand and water mixed together. And if we was to separate all three of them into its separate substances, the first thing we would do is we'd actually filter the salt, sand, salt and sand water solution. And the reason why is because when you filter it, you basically the sand would get caught in the filter paper which is in the filter funnel and it would actually end up to be con a salt solution and obviously you would be doing this in a conical flask so if you have a beaker with salt and sand water you basically just pour this through the funnel and the uh, sand will be caught in the filter paper and we would end up with a salt solution and after we actually end up with salt solution we obviously now know that we have already um, got out one uh, substance and the way you would separate salt and water is you would basically evaporate the water um, and so we would get an evaporating ba basin with a gauze in the bottom and we would get a Bunsen burner and we would heat the um, water until it would basically um, it would take about a few minutes and it will, should actually have some salt crystals appearing and the water will basically evaporate which means they would turn to steam but in the end you will see some salt crystals and that is basically a crystallization experiment done as well so this is basically combined together a filtration and crystallization experiment which you can try at home but definitely have an adult guidance and teacher guidance as well it's just a friendly warning to make sure that you're not doing anything dangerous by yourself but that is basically how you do a filtration and crystallization experiment so that's basically everything that we have for today just as an overview of what we have learned number one is we actually learned what a mixture is so a mixture is again um, um, made up of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded together. We also learned the four main separation techniques, which is distillation, chromatography, filtration, and crystallization. And number three, we also understood the filtration and crystallization experiment. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe down below for more free science and maths lessons from the school station. Bye guys!